Hey guys, it's Regant here and today I'm going to explain to you how you can order a, or buy a server on gportal and how you can set it up and go through a bit of settings um, on the website. So let's go. So here we are on the landing page of gportal. Um, yeah, one thing uh, before we start the video, I'm partnered with gportal also and yeah, if you're going to buy a server, you can use the link in the video description and you will get a 10% discount, which is pretty much on the on the Arc servers. And you're gonna support me with that too, obviously. So yeah. So let's start. We are on the website right now. I'm gonna change this one real quick to English because I'm on the German right now because um, I'm mainly German. And yeah, here we are in English now. And here we can choose already the Arc server and you already see we have different server options here. Either you can choose now one of these um, or we create an own configuration. Don't forget you get a 10% discount of this price here if you're gonna use the link in my video description. So yeah, we're gonna configure our own now because we don't need like 30, 60 or 90 days because I'm just gonna show it to you. We're gonna take a three day server. Here you could change uh, the slots for your server. So we just take the lowest one because we don't need many. If you need like, yeah, more than you can choose it here. Then you can choose the server location. For me, I live in Germany. So this one obviously is the best op uh, option here. If you're gonna live in the USA, you have to choose of one of these. And yeah, depends where you're coming from, choose the nearest location. Here you see some awards from gportal and also your yeah, advantages. For example, it's Germany's first gaming hosting community. That's uh, then you have support via ticket forum, wiki and phone. Here you see the phone uh, number of them, smooth and easy web interface, maximum flexibility. So you can ch uh, change your server at any time. Um, it takes only three minutes to set up your server and you have very secure payment. Here you see we have a credit card, uh, PayPal, passive card and bank transfer and idea. And so, yeah, let's continue on that. Here you can choose now the payment option. I'm going to pay with my balance because I have some balance on G portal here and going to press order. And this is already it. We have bought our server and we can just activate it now. It will take like a few seconds or it, it's already done. And then you can either go to go to game server configurations or you could go through here, my servers and scroll down and go onto your server. It should be the last one in the in the thing here. Now you see we have some options here. We can first start the server once. Then you're gonna see here now uh, the game server load, like the CPU and RAM. Um, here you can also see if you need more slots or less slots on your server. You have here the access data, the FTP access data. For example, you re really need them on Minecraft. And yeah, we can go now through these settings here. So here we have the basic settings. Um, here we have the configuration files. Here we have the logs. Obviously there is nothing in yet because we haven't started, the, like we haven't uh, logged into the server yet. Then you have the console and below it you have some different commands you can choose from the engine settings. Here you can, for example, change uh, the player stats multiplayer by one, two, three, four. You see also one is five per level, four is 20 per level. So make sure you, you're you very carefully with these stats. You also have here the wild and tamed diner uh, stat multiplayer. Yeah, then we have mods. You can really easily install them. For example, if we want this mod here, we can just press install and it's gonna get installed. You have to make sure that this is it's it's compatible with your version. Um, for example, you see here now mod may be too old and no longer compatible with your server, but it could also work. You have to test through that. I can explain it a, a little bit more in detail if you want in another video. And you can choose, for example, deactivate all or activate all, or you can choose same ones, but we're going to uh, deactivate it for now. And you can obviously also search here if you, for example, want something structure plus plus or something, you can just filter through it. Then you can pre uh, go into auto update. I would recommend using it. Um, so your server is always on the newest update. 
then you can schedule your restarts here on daily, weekly or monthly base. And yeah, you can choose a time and description and you can create backups up to 50 gigabytes. Um, so make sure to use this option and get a backup of your server. Otherwise, yeah, especially if you change like big things, you install new mods and you worry that it can, could mess up, let's say mess up the server. Then we can go into permissions. Here you can add new users that uh, have access and permission to change stuff on your server. If you know, for example, you go on holiday and you need someone uh, to make sure the server keeps running and has access to restarts and everything, you can just type his email address in here and then you can add them here. Here also have the support button um, and you also see the hotline support times here and a forum and a wiki. So yeah, let's go through some basic settings real quick. Um, I'm probably gonna show it to you on one of my uh, server on I'm playing with my friends on. So we, you probably get like the PVE settings. I'm not that deep into settings, but I can show you some of them. So here we are on the basic settings of my personal uh, server now where I play with some friends from time to time. So first you can choose the platform. If you play on Epic Games, so you have to play, uh, play, get this option, of course, the server name, the slots, the map, um, total conversion, and save game and auto save period. I skipped some passwords up there. Um, yeah, then language that you want in game. Of course, you should uh, choose the English option. I have the German right now in here. And now I'm gonna scroll real really quick here to through some options you could potentially need. Um, message of the day, for example. I have this one. It's just a German thing. <laughs> and let's go. You can turn on whitelist, obviously. Uh, force dinosaurs respawn if you restart the server. Otherwise, uh, rare dinos could like depopulate from time to time on longer running servers. Then let's keep going here. Anything very important? Enable PvP government. You can turn this on or off. Show floating damage checks. I really like this option, so I would recommend turning this one on. Some multiplayers here, be careful with them. They can uh, change very much, very quickly on your server. Item stack size multiplayer, I have it on 1000. Um, yeah, again, some multiplayers. You have many, many, many multiplayers that you can go through. Um, disable weather fog. I don't like the weather fog, so I turn, uh, disable it. Hello, cave building and PVE some smaller stuff you can go through looking for big stuff i've changed in my server player damage multiplayer allow, allow the person player probably a very important option here okay on the dinos i changed thumbs is uh, some things because I don't want to spend hours and hours breeding and uh, taming dinos uh, or protecting them. Like, for example, I have a tw uh, the taming speed multiplayer on 20, so I don't have to like wait five hours to tame a dino. Um, you can, of course, also put it on like five or something if you just want it a little bit quicker. Mating, melting interval multiplayer. Like, I've, I've all of these like getting dino stuff on very high rates because I don't want to spend too much time on, um, on, on this, but you can also change it as you want. A low flyer carry probably also a very important setting here, um, that you can carry dinos. Ah, uh, here, um, uh, maximum personal di uh, tame dinos and max tame dinos. Uh, yeah, I have 10,000 and 5,000 on it, even if these are really unrealistic numbers. Enables cryosickness PvE, very, very important setting here. If you are playing on a full PvE server, you could disable this option and you will get rid of cryosickness. Um, if you play on a PvP server, it's impossible to turn this option off. So you have to deal with cryosickness on the PvP server, but you can turn cryosickness off on a PvE server. Very important setting if you 
searching for it. I've also made an extra video on it. It got, it got pretty many views, I think. And yeah, I think this were the most important options. Yeah, I think we went through the most important options now. Um, I obviously can't go through everything here because this will be more way too much for this one single video. If you want that I will go through every single option here in the basic settings and gonna explain it to you, then make sure to leave a comment and if there are multiple comments that say, hey Regant, I want to see or I want to get a deeper explanation on every single option in the basic settings, then I'm gonna pr probably make a video in the future about that. And so yeah, just write it in the comments then. And yeah, if you have any other questions, something is not working or so, just make sure, just ask in the comments. Um, you could also join my Discord that is uh, linked in the video description, or you could uh, even contact the G portal support. Um, yeah, so there are many options how you can solve problems. So yeah, this is already the end of the video. I really hope you liked it and it helped you out to get your own server ready to play. And yeah, hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.